an entire video dedicated to Ipsy. I've had Ipsy for about, I want to say about a year now, and I really like it if you don't know what it is. It's like a makeup subscription thing where you pay $10 a month and they send you a little bag like this and um, with some makeup products in it and you get to try a bunch of stuff out and it's a, I think it's a really good deal. Um, before this I had Birchbox which was also pretty cool but I started getting a lot of repeat stuff. I switched over to Ipsy and I've, I've loved it ever since I got it. So yeah, I'm just going to be going over like some things that I've gotten in the past few months. Um, I don't know when I got each one, I just picked a bunch of stuff and threw it in a bag. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can tell, I have this huge, well not this huge, but I have a lot of stuff overflowing this bag. Um, I don't know exactly when every product is from. Um, I just picked up a bunch of stuff that I know I got an Ipsy and I put it in this bag and I'm going to talk about it. First is this brush. Um, again, I'm not... Like, I like doing makeup and stuff, but I'm not a huge, like, beauty person, so I don't know what these are called. Oh, <laughs> large angled. And it's, like, it's really, really soft. I don't know what brand it is. Luxie 504. Not really sure, but I use it for blush, and it's really nice because I just sweep it up. And it's really soft, and the handle's pink, and I love pink, so, yeah. Then I have another brush. I've never used this one before because I don't really know what it's for. It's, like, a stipple brush. But it's like tiny and the brand is Glamier. So yeah, if anyone knows what to use this for, let me know because I'm very curious. I could also Google it, but next I have this Pure Lease Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover, 4-in-1, sulfate-free and non-drying, gently washes away dirt and makeup, and soothes and tones skin. I've used this one a couple times. It smells okay, it just smells like soap. But it makes your face really, really soft. So I actually kind of like it. I usually don't like when they send me face stuff. Ooh, this is one of my favorite things I ever got. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. And it's in Park Avenue Princess. And it's a pretty decent sized sample. And the outside is cool. And it's nice packaging. And it's the bronzer that I use now. Not a lot of things I consider buying. But I would definitely, if I run out of this, I'll rebuy it. Next I have City Color Be Matte Lipstick. I'm actually wearing it right now and I really like it because it's like a neutral color. I don't really, well I do like sometimes darker colors but I don't like gloss, like lip gloss because it makes my lips feel weird so I like this stuff. The only complaint, not really complaint, just kind of weird thing about it is that when you're putting it on it feels like you're putting a crayon and it kind of tastes like a crayon too which is kind of weird but I mean it's a good color and I like I use it so. I can get over that it feels and smells like a crayon. This one, Hikari, it's a lip gloss. Yeah, it's a lip gloss and it's in Merlot. And I really, really like the color of this. It's a really good color, like it's a, you know, Merlot. But I don't like, I'm not a huge fan of lip gloss because it makes my lips feel weird. This is City Color HD Powder. I'm actually wearing this on my face right now. And I actually like it, like I feel like it's keeping my face from getting like oily and stuff. But it kind of does smell like chalk kind of like convinced that someone just ground up chalk and put it in this thing but I mean it works so Ooh, this one I just got and I really want to try I haven't tried it yet but it's Mark Anthony true professional nourishing argan oil of Morocco this is like a hair product by the way it's not open that's why it's not coming out Ooh, it smells really good it, it feels like oil oh this is something I've used before Smashbox photo finish foundation primer I don't know what to say, like I like it, it makes your face really smooth, and it does keep your foundation on. And last but not least, oop, just kidding, second last, what's this? I don't know. Ooh, this is number one parfum, parfum, perfume, and it literally smells so bad. I'm glad I got such a tiny sample of it. It smells like, it smells like soap from a public bathroom, and it's, my camera cut off while I was ranting about that nasty smell and perfume. But yeah, anyway, continuing, I have one last thing, and it's the Jorel Parker Classical Perfume. And again, I'm kind of iffy about getting perfumes in my Ipsy's. It's like, it's a really good deal because I looked on the website, this size, this little one, is 20 bucks. So this pretty much paid for my entire Ipsy, plus some. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. I wear it all the time and it smells really good and has like a little roller ball so it's easy to put on. So that was it for some things I got in my Ipsy's the past few months. 
I really like Ipsy. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think I should like do like a monthly Ipsy thing, just like let me know in the comments or something because I think that would be cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.